And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Wiggly Yasuo. That's right, we got another sweet meme tier Monday deck here. This one's going to be built around Monastery of Hirana, this three mana landmark. Around start, you create a Sanctuary in hand. So the Sanctuary is the one mana focus speed, recall an ally back to your hand. And that's going to be really important for a few reasons. One, each time that you recall one of your units back to your hand, you're going to buff up your Blade Twirler, going to give it plus two, plus zero permanently for each one. And you're also going to um, start leveling up your Yasuo, right? So if we can recall five plus units or stun, obviously, but you know we need five of those to level up the Yasuo. So that's important. Plus, each one is that is a spell that you're casting. Each sanctuary you cast is a spell. And so once we start casting a lot of those, now our Burble Fish starts reduce, uh, gets that cost reduction, and it will eventually cost zero. And that will be really nice because then we can have we can have the sanctuary bounce the Burble Fish, be able to replay it. And it's just, you know, just the, the one mana um, total, and we create the one spell. So that's kind of what our deck's doing. So we're going to be doing that kind of stuff. Now, we're going to want other targets that we want to return back to our hand. We got, like, two Concussive Palms for those Tail of the Dragons, which are perfect to put back in your hand. We got Shadow Assassin, um, Hired Gun with that summon with the Vulnerable, uh, Eye of the Dragon, Coral Creatures, all good targets to put back in your hand. We even have Twisted Fate as our other champion. Twist of Fate, of course, putting that back into our hand, we get to replay the Destiny cards. We can blue card, gold card, red card, whichever one is appropriate. Um, plus, each time that we play those spells also, those also add up. And the more spells we play, that will eventually get to be huge mind melds that will help us finish games out. Plus, Burblefish creating those spells each time we play one of those. So we can you know, potentially play a ton of spells and finish games out with mind meld. That's kind of what we're going to be doing here. Uh, let's see. So yeah, uh, rebind concussive palm, of course, also it continues to stun stuff. And if we have a leveled up Yasuo, that's like five damage each time you do that. Um, but then we got some good protection, Nopify, Deny, um, more interaction with Homecoming and Steel Tempest, and then Retreat also being like a, a one-time use of the Monastery. So it looks pretty awesome. We'll see how it does. We don't really want to face the real aggressive decks, like the aggressive burn decks. Those are going to be tough. For us to beat so hopefully we play against some slower decks here over in normal because it's meme tier day so that's where we're going so we're going over there with wiggly yasuo okay well this is a slower deck <laughs> lissandra trundle however you'd think that however they do have that combo finish which can be difficult to stop you know around turn eight or so um homecoming's not going to be necessary. We're going to get rid of that. Deny could be good, like, you know, later, but I don't know if I want to keep it in my opener. Saying, like, Burble Fish is going to be gone also. I think I'm just going to keep just Yasuo. Maybe I should keep Deny to protect Yasuo. I'll keep Deny. Okay. So get a 2 3 in play or save spell mana. Get the two three in play. Not and ready. Leaping into action. Looks like I should have saved spell mana. I don't know if I've ever seen this deck play uh, play Ice Fell Archer before. That's new. I will bury the world in ice. See the Demastian border from here. I go where the road takes me. I like them not attacking. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Eyes to me. Ah! So no spells, just all units. So we'd make the Trundle vulnerable. I don't really see making Trundle vulnerable doing a whole lot. Now who's got the upper hand? But I need to need to start bouncing stuff, need to start leveling up the Yasuo. Need to get these burble fishes to cost less. 
So just bouncing this Eye of the Dragon that it tunes, so it costs very little mana. The Order rewards its faithful. Bow to your king! In Avarosa's name! Underestimate. I dare you. The dark beckons. Another monastery. Now who's got the upper hand? All right, so Burblefish is down to costing three mana. Yeah, hope we can kill Trundle. That is the plan. Alright, so we're gonna go Twisted Fate Gold Card and stun the Trundle. Never lost a fair game or played one. Hold it, partner. This is gonna be fun. We're getting closer to our leveled up Yasuo. I guess I should have. Yeah, I guess I could have leveled up Yasuo if I would have done the Sanctuary first, but. Alright, so they gotta watch her. So they have the if they have Spectral Matron, the game's over. Like I can't stop Spectral Matron at all. And yeah, so it doesn't there's no reason to try to play around Spectral Matron or anything, because like I said, the game's over. Um I guess so I, I was thinking about going like Sanctuary, Bounce Twisted Fate, Gold Card again, which would kill Lissandra thanks to Yasuo, but if they kill Yas the you know, then I can't protect Yasuo if I do that. Spends all of my mana. I guess maybe I just pass and see if they want to pass also, which is doubtful. What will you have? Okay, that's not so bad for me. So wait, so I've summoned one thing so far. Not exactly sure what I want to do. This one's on the house. First gather. Let's go purple fish. Oh right. This is return, not not the one I was thinking it was. Okay, ghost and rush. Okay. How am I doing this? Yeah, board space is going to be a little tough. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Oh, right. This thing just makes ice shards. Well, playing those didn't make a lot of sense. Always up for a round or two. 
So if this happens, this would kill Trundle. No reason to put these burble fishes back in. They're just going to die to the next ice shard. Get ready for a beat down. All or nothing. Lady Luck is smiling. Time to make some coin. Don't have very many cards in hand. That's kind of the good news. And if I put this back in their hand, it costs zero mana. So I can't... This, this one says it costs 17 mana. I don't know why that one would cost 17. Oh, they just ice shard. What am I doing? Yeah. Huh. Didn't see that coming. Even if that worked out, like I don't think that that actually works out for us. I don't think that like that should just cost zero. So I don't think there's any way we can stay alive. Lucian Azir. All right, this one should be a lot, lot more straightforward. They're not going to have a, a crazy 11-17 that just kills you. I'm happy about that. Yeah, there, there just wasn't like even, even if that homecoming happens and puts it back into their hand, like they just, they just replay it because it should cost zero. I just don't think there's anything I could do. Um, well, I mean, just because I made this vulnerable doesn't mean I can kill it. This is the deck that plays more uh, plays more champions than any other. Make it worth my while. Stand down. Wow. I am surprised that worked. That's gotta be like another Azir in hand, right? I don't want to meet whatever woke That basically never works. I, mean, I want to use this retreat on the tail of the dragon. But it is still drawing a card. Another concussive palm. 
I guess we're just playing that. So we're making some parlays. The Emperor's favor upon you. Okay, down to 14. I like our hand. Bounce the Shadow Assassin a couple of times. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. It bounces here, they just replay his ear. He had the third one of those. That's annoying. That's quite annoying. either bouncing tail of the dragon or the shadow assassin the thing with this if they have if they do have rallies that would be pretty bad for me but I, I still can survive it would just be bad for me Pass. No. Onward, golden warriors. Your commands. The dragon binds us. Yasuo! Yes! That's a card I needed. Who's on top of the bounty board today? To the street! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the back follow only. Alright, so they got just one card. Death is oh no, two cards. Never mind. So they got two cards in hand. I thought they just had one. But yeah, they just drew one. Which makes sense. They cannot hide. All right, Azir down. That's the second Azir down. Azir welcomes all his subjects. Let's stun this one. Because that one dies. They don't have anything that makes a Sand Soldier right now. Yangsta! With the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Yangsta. And then Morning Tea Time with the big cheers as well. Thank you, Morning Tea Time. Oh, you are awesome as well. Thank you. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for the support. Okay, so I'm going you to bounce. Miss. Bounce. No cure for fools. Press on. Okay. Wanted to keep my four mana available just in case. 
That is a good card. I'm always up for a round or two. Because gold card two two damage plus Yasuo five damage that will take down a four six. Gonna get there. You. Listen to me. Well, you know about this concussive bomb I have in my hand, but they're they're just looking at that shape stone. Like, what else is a shape stone supposed to do? All right, down to two. Purple fish. <laughs> we got some big flexes. There we go. One and one. That is the best emo. I don't know if it's the best, but that's that's a great emo, that big flex. One step closer to redemption. Okay, so yeah, Yasuo still incredible. Smooth Wayfinder worked out. I do not know. I don't know if the I just don't know. I don't know if the big flex emote can be purchased without the pack or not. I think I keep everything. It's not a very fast hand. I hope they don't have a very fast hand. But the you know, Sanctuary is definitely an important card for us. And like we can continually bounce this Concussive Palm. And that sounds like that's good for Yasuo. So overall, that's all going to be a keep. That's new. You're provoking it. Three, three. Success. Get you noticed around here. Odd behavior. Follow the wind. But watch your back. I know I could attack it and kill that three, three, but I would rather them just like waste their mana and nights. I don't know, I was scared of that. The opponent's doing the real cool stuff. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Kindred. Seven, seven, Kindred. Man, opponent's deck is good. Not my first gun fight. Yeah, she'll die at the round start, but if still she marks something, it'll still kill that thing that she marks. Okay, but at least now that's going to be that 2-2 and not Twisted Fate. Because it's round end, kill the mark thing, round start. But we don't know, like, maybe their curve stops at 5. Nope. 
keeps going. Oh, right, because they're playing Nasus. We know that it's Kindred Nasus, right? Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Where we go, they retreat. Basically, holding deny available. Which I should have done that probably first. What's that noise? Anyway. Its heart beats fast now. It knows. We each died, then found hope. The hunt begins. You don't got some fighting yet. Easy. Down to three. Their deck's going off. This is this is pretty cool. No cure. All right, we got leveled up, Yasuo. a fair game or played one so it doesn't mark right all that glitters so they know little lamb Rush. Where are you? Four four aristocrat. We stand in the footprints of paths long trodden. Back to Nassus. Start over. Quick footwork, fast strikes. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Now who's got the upper hand? All right, so that's not going to be able to kill them this turn, but maybe next turn. Silent as death. I will play my part. Mm, should have passed. Should have passed. Underestimate. I dare you. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bounce this thing that costs zero and I can replay. But yeah, see if I would have passed, then their rekindler, you know, like they, their rekindler wouldn't have brought anything back. So they were, would have been had they would have had a full board. I must get out of here. Fear something. I alone decide my fate. It's too late for you. You're bluffing. Okay. Here's our chance. I'm always up for a round or two. If this works, this would kill the kindred. Underestimate. I cool. Still alive. 
That's really good to see, because obviously we know about this Wraith Caller, so that just takes out a card in their hand that doesn't really do anything. So that's good for us to see. I fight with my spirits, not my fists. Okay. Pearl fish. Ye have been warned. Here's our chance. All right, time to ghost them. Ghost. Ghost. And ghost. All right, they're getting ghosted. That's still lethal. Yes, it is. All right, Yasuo down. But good thing we have a 13-13. <laughs> Quick attack elusive. Outplay. And there we go. Burblefish creating spells. Still broken. Oh no, Diana Nocturne. This is not a, a deck that you play against very often, but I always feel like it's really, really good whenever I do play against it, whenever I play it myself. I think this is like a a sleeper deck. That's not, it's not a real popular one, but I have a very high opinion on this deck. And let's mulligan the coral creatures. I guess it will keep Eye of the Dragon. I was you know, thinking about like maybe keeping one of those two cards. Because we probably don't need like you know three, two mana units. There's, there's not really much reason to keep all of them. The person, Fluffy Cake, the person that made the deck, said, and and even said this before, was that Fearsomes destroy our deck. That that's what, that's what you struggle with the most is like Fearsomes, and and they do have a good amount of Fearsomes, especially because of Nocturne. So yeah, this is one that could, could be pretty difficult. The dark beckons. Twist of fate. Twist of fate always makes everything better. Invisible to the ignorant. Forced us to choose death or the blade. I'm expecting Diana this turn. Present Guardian. Overwhelm. Alright, so should I stun that? Probably. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Hold it, partner. Underestimate. I dare you. Forgive me. Cool. Only two. Pick on someone your own speed. You cannot hold us down. I think we're gonna play Monastery and I the Dragon this turn. I think that's my plan. Hey, yeah, it feels it feels like they probably could have simply taken three damage that they didn't need to block there, but you know they decided to block. Temperamental as moonlight, Cygnus. How I miss your light. Thank the mother, you're all right. What have you learned? Ugh. I guess red card. Yeah, probably red card. Here's our chance. Deal me in. Something for all. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> the fearsome. Oh, 
cannot escape. So that obviously blocks there. I don't love my blocks anywhere else. It'd be me taking 11 down to 7, which is a lot. I should have played this retreat somehow, too. I guess after they played the 4 1, I should have retreated and put the Twisted Fate yeah, back in my hands, so then I could have returned the Shadow Assassin into play. I mean, this thing has overwhelm. So like blocking blocking the Crescent Guardian and then retreat doesn't do anything because it has overwhelm. Like I, yeah, I could I could do it on the I could do it with the Fey on the onlooker, but that is just not really what I want to be doing in my life. Is there hold up waiting on the two mana? Does that mean unspeakable horror? I dare you. Malevolence. Never lost a fair game. Or play who says I don't share. Man, like <laughs> twist of a red card turn after turn is pretty silly. All right, so we know we know these two are, are like one unit. So if they do have pale cascaded, have to be this one card. That is possible, so maybe I can't attack in with Twisted Fate. It is possible. They cannot hide. Here's our chance. So I'm guessing I probably just can't attack in. Because Mountain Goat block. Uh, Pill Cascade. Be pretty bad. I was Doom Beast. All right, so that means so they, their other one is an ephemeral Doom Beast. So we know that for sure. So they got a Doom Beast. Ephemeral Doom Beast is the middle card. Did I not play two spells last turn? Oh, I thought I did. I guess not. Me in. I think I just have to gold card in case Hold it, partner. in case of Pale Cascade. Because, like, why would they do that? Like, let me red card both of those unless they were going to save that overwhelm. I guess I should have red carded. Should have red carded. Because if I would have read. Yeah, I should have definitely should have read now. I mean, I guess. Uh... Okay, I guess we're not dead though. Because I could have gone red, bounced the twisted fate, red again. So right, we could have done double red and and wiped everything but the nocturne, and then have my blade twirler block the nocturne. It was pale cascade. That means they're setting me up for another Doom Beast to kill me. Your attack is obvious. Of course, we'll we'll have deny. Ah. And draggling. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm coming good. Play my part. Remember with Nocturne, if they just play something, they give the enemies minus one, minus zero. So I want to just heal my Nexus for two before that happens. I right, could have mind melded. I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Find your path in the dark. And follow no false light. Thanks, Marvin. A new moon rises. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Let it happen. 
because I can't beat that Nocturne Fearsome. <gasps> oh, it stuns the other one! Alright, because that thing's not stun that thing's already stunned. Oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, it's not gonna work. Our light grows brighter. All right, so my play this turn, <clears throat> I was focused on the, the double Twisted Fate. My play this turn, especially with like that two on Elusive, should have been around Mind Meld. And, you know, put put like two bodies into play and then Mind Meld. Like, that's what it should have been. It should have been like Field Musicians, Coral Creatures. Maybe we have like, you know, so, something like that. Uh, that's what it should have been. So I'm going to exactly die after drawing the Steel Tempest exactly die i can bounce you know i can bounce nocturne stun diana we still take four those will still be fearsome before these cards instinct. resolve not enough yeah was stacked against us. <laughs> that that's tough And Azir Hecarim for the last one. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. That was a, that was definitely a big mistake. I realize we're not gonna, you know, deal two damage to that same thing. That's the cool part about Mew Tier Monday, though. Is I'm, I'm playing all these cards I don't normally play, and you know, like we're, we're in weird situations all, all the time, and so I can't say that I've played, you know, these decks perfectly today, um, but it, it's about learning and having fun. Am I supposed to keep this field musicians? Like I don't think so. I've I've been very impressed with just retreat today though. Saking, great games. That was that was an awesome game. That last one, GGS. Fearsome is just a, a real, uh, real problem for our deck. We even talked about that before playing these games that that. We just don't match up against Fearsome, and that, that Nocturne, given everything Fearsome, was a big problem. I am prepared. Oh, fresh soil. That is just the best possible Shadow Isle start. Retreat Return has been really good for us. This one, specifically in the Smooth Lulu Z deck, it was great in that Smooth Lulu Z deck. Play never gets any lighter. Wow, okay, nothing to do on turn four. We're dead. Success gets you noticed around here. After that. Oh, it's on. Ooh, got some fight in ya. Go down to seven. Not my first Maybe bounce fight. the one one. I would have preferred to be able to just challenge it with like with the vulnerable with the quick attack Yasuo, but with that spell shield and with atrocity being a thing, I, don't, I didn't really want to take six, go down to four, and then we just lose to atrocity. Here's our chance. Oh. 
Glad we didn't go down to four. I don't think we can stop Hecarim. Did I not play two spells that turn? I guess not. I mean, do I just pass back? I think so. Yeah, free kill on the 4-3, but then they have their, their 6 mana. They could just play Hecarim and then open attack. This doesn't allow them to open attack. Your attack is obvious. So this grows the Park Beast. Gonna be able to kill this thing for free anyway. Make it worth my while. Let me just do this. I mean, I can't really make a dragling. I can try. I mean, I guess I can, because we know for sure that we're going to be getting a spell with these things. So I guess I just have to play the spell no matter what. Yuck. I kinda can't play that spell. Kinda need this to kill Hecarim. That kills Hecarim. Uh, I didn't kill the- this Tale of the Dragon card is, is really useful, like if we find any kind of bounce spell and putting it back into our hand, that's gonna be a card that I'm going to want. Health potion? Nope. I can try again. I can recall my burble fish and replay it and look for health potion. Let's see. Life and death on the blade's edge. This way. I will play my part. Like it. That egg. Did it move? I think I have to do that. Because I'm, I'm out of denies. I have two, um, two of the two mana denies. Nopifies. I have two nopifies, but no more denies. I think I think it's better to. Maybe I do have a future. Look for health potion over bouncing shadow assassin or tail of the dragon, but I'm not 100% positive on that. Well, we can keep retrying, but so we've already played two Doom Beasts and two of the Ruinous and two Ruinous Paths. So yeah, we're kind of near the end of draining. My name will echo through the ages. Paths? Better not find Doom Beast. Three cards. Get Curse Keeper. Monastery of Hirana. Hmm. Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. That. Oh. 
Well, they found the third Doom Beast. It's too bad. Keep moving on. All right, so there we go. That was Wiggly Yasuo. This was a fun one to play. Another one that was, uh, you know, not not an easy one to play for sure. All sorts of different spells and everything, and just trying to maximize and trying to finish out games. Um, but there was a, a lot of really cool little tricks that these uh, these cards all had together. Monastery Ferrana with Wiggly Burblefish was really cool. I liked that quite a bit. I've been just like really impressed by Retreat and Homecoming. Both of those spells. Um, both in the uh, Smooth Lulu Z deck and this deck with recalling your own, um, you know, another way to recall your own things and then also being interaction, right? Because that's like what Ionia is really missing is, is interaction. So this is just a little cheaper than Will of Ionia, being able to recall your opponent's um, unit or landmark, but then, you know, you also put something of yours back in your hand. If you make that into a positive that's not a negative, then this card can be really good. So yeah, I really like the homecoming, and I like the retreat return. We got we've got a lot of people today with just you know like putting in uh, blockers out of return. I liked that quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, I can see how fearsomes are going to be a problem for the deck. Um, oh yeah, twisted fate. <laughs> yeah, bouncing twisted fate every turn. That was pretty awesome. Be nice if there was like a way for us to like find our champions a little bit more. Um, but yeah, this deck was this deck was really cool. I could see more, you know, like more concussive palm, homecoming, um, retreat, you know, like more of those kind of things. There's just just more ways that Yasuo deals damage to your opponent's units with stun or recall. But I I liked everything in here except for like field musicians just isn't really necessary. Um, and I didn't get to like mind meld people. That wasn't as necessary as I thought, but um, you know, field musicians could be replaced. But fun meme tier deck for sure. Wiggly Yasuo. <laughs> fun to say too. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel, feel free to leave those comments. I would love to uh, know what y'all think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. We had some great, really close games here. Um, you know, it didn't always go my way. I didn't always make the correct decision, right? Like this isn't... Is it an easy one just to pick up and pilot for the first time? But I try my best. Hopefully y'all had some fun watching it. I had some fun playing it. And that's what Meme Tier Monday is all about. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And I will see you for the next video.